Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to implement uh, a confetti effect which is a kind of victory effect in your Unity game project. Okay, we are, in this tutorial we will be using a particle system. So let's go to our scene and right click, create a new particle system. Now as you can see, the particle system is spawning the particles. Okay, the first thing we need to do is go to our start color and select a random color as confetti is made out of a random color. So I will be using a fixed color over here. Uh, the first color I will select as red. Then followed by a second one, a yellow maybe which I try to make a rainbow color option for my orange and let me drag the red over here spread out evenly then this one will be a green a blue one more is teal oops Then lastly, a purple color. Okay, cool. Now we have random color selected. As you can see, our particle is spawning random color also. So now what we need to do is um, change the material. Let me change to default line. Now, as you can see, our particle system is pointing a square shape right now. Okay, now let me change the start size to smaller, 0.2, and now go to um, emission rate over time will increase to 200. Then, cool. The duration we set it to one will do the start lifetime we set it to two maybe and the start speed will be 2.5 we make it slower a bit now there's one more important property which is the gravity modifier because we want to make it heavy so that the particle will drop we are set to 0 0.3 now we will go over to your renderer. Mm, I think it's not over here. The shape. Yes, we can change the shape. Let me change the box as you can see. Mm, cool. Let me try something else. Try to make it longer so that it will drop all over our screen. Let me set the start lifetime to 1. This is actually not the effect I want. Let me try out something first. Because what I'm trying to do is make it more looks like a rain of shade dropping. Like falling rain. So let me try do some experiment first. Let me change the start lifetime to three maybe. Yeah, cool. Now seems like more near to the effect I want. Now we can improve this effect further by uh, apply some rotation on the confetti. So go to your rotation or lifetime make sure you take it on uh, I will select a random between two constant mm, 45 is fine let me 360 yep cool as you can see our shape is rotating as well as falling so cool let me turn off the looping as you can see this is one time 
payback from the confetti particle effect. If you want the effect to be continuous, make sure you turn the looping on. Okay, now um, I think we can improve this effect further. Let me think what can I add. Um, okay, cool. Let me turn it, go to your color or lifetime. For color or line type, yep. Turn it on. Now let me change the alpha to oh sorry, not this. I mean the yeah the last value of the alpha to zero. Hmm. The modify the line type. Uh, one is not nice. Or change back to three. Now our start speed to well do Let's change to one is much more better. Right. This is how it looks like a box confetti effect. So um, let me turn off the looping and see what is it? this is how it looks like if the confetti is only appear for once. So let me rename this to box confetti, create a new folder, we call this prefect. Uh, let me rename correctly and place it to our prefect. Now we will create another cone confetti, which is another, I mean, not really quite similar effect, but it's a more looks like a burst style. So let me try to break the instant first. So, yep, let me break a prefect instant, rename this to cone confetti now turn on our looping so that we can see how it looks like when doing our changes we are change the shape to cone mm. let me do it experiment a little mm. this is how it looks like when we change the image from volume we set the position This base effect, I don't think we should do this But let me adjust the angle a little bit, see how it looks like first Okay hmm. Geo 0.5 for duration Start lifetime 2 and with the start speed 2.5 Set the gravity modifier to 0 0.3 0 0.5 is much better Still let me Let me play around, let me stay back to volume Yup, this seems more looks like the effect I want to show you guys let me I mean resize the angle to be smaller and reduce the length cool 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 now if you turn on the looping and play you will slow you will find out the confetti is appear more like bursting a little outward and falling afterward okay now this actually is the effect we want so let's create a button to test it so create a new button uh, place it to the center let me um, rename uh, I don't think we need to do anything of it so create a new folder we call these scripts we will be writing some script create a new script Spawn confetti will do. Cool. Okay. Double click to edit. Cool. Now we need a public object, game object, which to reference to the confetti effect prefect. 
So we are call the confetti apex will do. So on the start method we are in stain shape um, the confetti prefect. No 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 I don't think so. We need to create a new method we are call this Thing, uh, uh, it should be a public void called click will do I think then on a click we will instantiate the effect so let me reference to as to a game object OB then we will destroy this game object after uh, 2.5 seconds will do as an effect yeah. Has been done. So remove the start and update method. We are not using it. Go back to our Unity. Go to your button. Add the button script. A spawn confetti script. Sorry. So now we will reference to the on click method. Spawn confetti click. Then place a clone of confetti object. So now we can remove this as we already create a prefect in our prefect folder. Um aha uh -huh. oops sorry because just I removed it from the scene so we need to do reference it again. Now as you can see when you click it will pawn some confetti effect for us so you can trigger this and at any time you want. So now I will sh actually the shape of the confetti we can change to something else also. As you can see I have prepared a star sprite over here. So now we need to create a new material. So we will call this star material and the um, shader looks for um, particles yep alpha branded then we will select the texture to the star sprite let me move the confetti to our scene and see and we are now go to the render change the material to the star material we created just now. Yep, as you can see, it is start spawning the star shapes. We can increase the size maybe to one or a little bit too big. So we change it to 0 0.5. Cool, this looks much more nicer. So click apply. Let me remove this and start the test by clicking a button cool this is a confetti effect which we want to create so you can try it with your own effect which you can change uh, whether the confetti color to blend it with different color or try to make it bigger or uh, change the shape may appear at a different position or even change a material which spawn a different type of sprite. So you are uh, feel free to create your own style of confetti. So I think that's it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial helps you. If it did, please give this tutorial a like and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.